A very pleasant day to your viewers. My name is Sharon Tashivinga and I'm your host on today's talk show, The Deep Talk Show. Today in the studio we have Hezo Kachikwa, a student from Goldridge College who has written and published a book while she was in grade 6. Welcome to the studio, Hezo. Thank you for having me. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I'm Hezo Kachikwa. I'm currently doing Form 1 at Goldridge College and I'm 13 years old. I understand that you wrote a book titled Dear Absent Father. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? So the book is about how I grew up without a father. It's about how all the events I've been through and what we experienced as a family without a father. And it's also to encourage the other children or people that have grown up without a parent that they shouldn't give up but keep looking for they will find them one day. So we can safely say that the book is a reflection of your life's events. Yes. I understand that you wrote this book while you were in grade 6. And at this age, many people will be out there playing, having the fun of their lives. What pushed you to write this book? Uh, I wrote this book um, out of emotions and because I also missed my dad so much. Yes, so. You wrote a book for your father who is in Botswana, and this is what he has to say. I, Ezel, I know how much you love me. I don't doubt your love for me. I know how much you even wish me to be there in Zim, spend all my days with you. I know that, my daughter. It's unfortunate that I've lived most of my life without being next to you, without being there for you. But what I know is that has not stopped you from loving me. This is very painful to say, but I have to say it. Each and every day of my life, I do pray for you. I kneel down before God. I thank God for having you in my life. I thank God for giving us Ezel Tari Rokachikwa as a blessing in my own family. May God continue to guide you, my daughter, protect you, and make you to grow into the understanding that I, as your father, I'll always love you, I'll always guide you, I'll always be there for you, no matter what it takes, my daughter. You will be, and you will remain a very special person, my friend, my child, my everything. Thank you so much, Hesel. Never forget that all which I do in life, I'm doing it for you. Never forget that you have a father who wishes you to grow in the fear of God who wishes you to grow with the wisdom and the knowledge which was being bestowed to Solomon by God. That's my desire. Fear God. Continue being in the right path and continue being what you are, what God intends you to be. I wish you all my blessings, my fatherly blessings. I give them unto you, my child. Thank you so much. Thank you. This has been an emotional moment for, for even me as a presenter. So, Ezo, after uh, those emotional words from your father, how do you feel? Um, I feel a bit emotional, but I'm also glad. Th I'm also glad to know that he is always there for me and he will always love me.
Yeah, you indeed love chess. I understand that you're also into chess. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey in chess? So I began playing chess in grade three, and my grade three teacher, Mr. Stole, was also my coach. So from then on, me and my classmates and my coach, we started a club called Wilenita. And from then on up to now, we've grown and we have more than 100 players that participate for the Wilenita School of Chess. How many awards have you received so far? So far, I think I've received more than 10 awards from all the chess tournaments I've taken part in. Do you have, uh, did you receive any recognition? Yes. In the tournament I participated in in 2018 um, in Botswana, I, from then on I became a federated player, meaning I'm recognized and I have a ranking in Africa. So Elza, where do you see yourself in the next four to five years as far as chess is concerned and novel writing is concerned? I see myself becoming an even greater chess player in terms of my awards and taking part in more international tournaments. And as for being an author, I see myself becoming even more famous and writing more books. That's great. So who has been your greatest inspiration? My greatest inspiration is my dad. He has always supported me in everything that I have done so far, everything that I have accomplished. And I think he's going to continue supporting me in everything that I'll do so that, I, so that I can become an even better person in terms of my writing and my chess. Yes, so tell us a little bit about your 2021 goals. I'm looking forward to publishing another book that will be even larger than the Dear Absent Father one. And I'm also looking forward to taking part in an international tournament in Kenya. So Yezo, assuming that both your parents are watching this program right now, what would you like to tell them? Firstly, I would like to tell, I'd like to tell my mom that I would like to thank her for taking the place of both mother and father in my life, in my life throughout when my dad was in Botswana. I would like to thank her for being there for me and always loving me. And I would like to also thank my dad for working hard in Botswana to keep the family going. Even though he's not here with me here in Zimbabwe, I still feel his presence though because he's constantly checking on me and I love him too. And I'm sure they love you too as well. Hazel, well, it was so nice to have you on our program. And I was at one point I was touched, especially for the moment that you shared it with the dead there. It was quite emotional. Thank you for coming to our program. You're welcome. It has also been a pleasure of you having me in your show. Thank you. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of today's program. It's me, your host, Sharon Tazivinga. Till we meet next time, don't forget to like our Facebook page, Kwekwenet, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kweko TV. And if you feel like you want to be part of our program, don't forget to call on our numbers that are appearing below on your screen. Good night. <laughs>